What up, love bug? We're gonna do this bold holiday look today. We're starting off with some lip plumper just to get those lips hydrated. Next, I'm gonna prime my eyes. I like to use a white base or just a light base so my colors don't mix or change. I'm starting off with this unfiltered eyeshadow. Putting that in the outer corner and then I'm gonna blend it out, you'll see. I'm going to include step by step, that way you can follow along if you want to. Blend it out. I like to hold the brush at the end and just use a light hand to blend it out. Circular motions, back and forth baby, back and forth. Next up, I'm using Teddy. I'm just going to use that to darken the crease. It's like just a deeper, warm tone shade than the first one we used. Applying that almost exactly where I put that first shade, but just a little bit lower. Don't blend it up as high. Keep it kind of concentrated. You see how I'm holding that? Blend it out. Just like that. Very lightly. Blend the edges. And then you can go back in and add as much color as you want to to deepen it and darken it. But just keep those edges nicely blended. Notice how I'm using denser and smaller brushes, tighter brushes, so that I can pack on more color. And this shade is called Rich Rich. Putting that right into the crease. Not as high up as that second shade. But not too low onto the eyelid because we're going to do a cut crease. There you go. Pack on that eyeshadow. Blend it out, girl. Look at that. If you have blue eyes, these warm tones will make your eyes pop. Now I'm going in with an even smaller brush and I'm just going to pack on the shade Smokin' to the outer corner and then right into the crease but you want to keep it lower, you don't want to take it too high. Blend it out and it doesn't matter how far over the corner of your eye you go, like the outer corner, because we're going to clean that up with a makeup pop anyways so don't worry about that girl. We are taking this shade all the way into the inner corner. Alright, notice how I'm holding this brush. Tilt it up to blend out. Make sure you blend. Here's the fun part. Add this glitter eyeshadow. It's a liquid, so you can use it with the wand or you can blend it out with a brush or your finger. It doesn't matter. I'm using the wand that comes with it so that I can cut my crease. This is a slow and steady wins the race type deal. See, used my finger there. There you go. Just carve it out exactly where you want it. Take your time. You want to trust the process with this because see in this inner corner right here, it looks kind of goofy. But when I put the highlighter in that inner corner, it's just going to stand out so well against this olive green. After I get it on here and kind of smoothed out, I do like to look and make sure both eyes kind of look semi-close to even. Your eye shapes are probably not the same, so it's not going to be perfect, but get it as close as you can. Now I'm just going in with that smoking shade to darken up the outer corner and the crease a little bit because I want it to be dark, dark, dark. Using different sizes and shapes of brushes will give you a better look because if you just use one brush or the same shape and size brush your look is going to be muddy and just run all the colors together and you do not want that here i am just adding a light 
yellow toned shade to my brow bone. Now I'm going to highlight the brow bone with my Anastasia So Hollywood Loose Highlighter. As well as the inner corner. Do you see how well that gold pairs with that olive? Clean up your outer corner and then go on to foundation. I like to do my eyes first. That way I can clean up any fallout and obviously sharpen that corner. Blend it out, but don't over blend. That's the key. Okay. There you go, girl. Get in that hairline. And your eyebrows. Don't forget to get your eyebrows. Now I'm going in with concealer. This is that MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Love this. I'm wearing NC15. I like the lightest shade. I also primed my eyes with this in case you missed it. Because it's just a neutral tone. I'm applying this all over my T-zone to brighten that area and sharpening up my crease. Now I'm going to use the Fenty Powder in Lavender. Love this. To set my under eyes. Kula, of course, to bronze. I've literally been using this since like 2014. I love it. This is the best brush you can use. It's from Sigma. I think it's the F05. It's literally perfect. Put your bronzer where you want to. I use it to contour because I like a warm shade. Hit your forehead. Contour your nose. Using the same Fenty powder in lavender. I'm just going to cut out my nose. And I'm going to bake it for like 30 seconds. And then pat it in. Using the Cali Dream from Melt Cosmetics as my blush. I just love a good peach tone. And these colors go so well together. Highlight with that same So Hollywood. I ended up using my finger because that brush just was not it. Now we're hitting the eyes. Same four colors that we used on the upper eyelid. We're going to use on the lower eyelid in the same order. And just getting closer to the lash line each time. Now we're going to... Line our waterline with a gel liner. I use a pencil and then I'm going to smudge it out with this brush right into the lashes. That way it's just a smooth transition to the eyeshadow. Fill in your eyebrows. This is the Goof Proof from Benefit in the shade 6. I love this powder and I love this brow brush. Literally the best. Now I'm going to go in with some more highlighter on this little eyeshadow brush. I love me some highlighter on my forehead right above my brow arch. Because when the light hits that baby, everybody's going to see it. And I no longer wear mascara on the top lashes or really at all these days. So I just put lashes underneath my eyelashes, you know, like you would do at home extensions with just normal lash glue i just used the kiss i think is what it was i can't remember but just put them on and glue them to your eyelashes and then i just threw on some fan fest from benefit on my bottom lashes because when you do a full glam baby you gotta have the bottom lashes done next up is lips i love this lip liner it's my favorite melt cosmetics head bang it's the bomb. It's just a warm tone, medium brown. Love it. And I like to overline my lips. If you don't, sorry. Put on that plumping lip gloss again and boom. Look at her. Beautiful. Peace out, homie.